on my eyeballs. Mm. Whew. Wow, y'all can really see my book collection from here. <laughs> All right, let's turn y'all this way. There we go. So y'all can see half the book collection, and there we go. Okay, guys, sorry it's been so long. I've been feeling like poo. I've got so many boxes to review right now. I've got one, two, three, four, five I'm going to try to do tonight. And I've got one, two, three, four, five still to go. And I've got some more coming in. Yeah. This witch is severely behind. So, what we're reviewing is I found this interesting young lady. Uh, she's on Instagram. And this is her business card. If y'all can see it. Um... So I can get my camera to, there we go. That's her business card. It did view in on it good, but it didn't want to. Come on, you daffy. There we go. So y'all can pause it when it viewed in good and then pause out of it when it didn't want to view in good. This is a little thing that she got where I got sent as a gift. I got a tarot, which is legends. Learn from those who inspire you. Which, let me turn off my light now. Because if I don't, y'all are not going to be able to see this tarot. Alright, let's wait. Which, I like it. It's a really cool tarot. That's the back. Gotta wait for it. Come on. Come on. Well, we're not worried about the back. She sent me a tea. Which is um, Organic Classics, Deep Forest, and a Mug. It's a deep, all-organic black tea with sweet forest fruit, which I'm all about that. So, it looks just like that. So, that's cool. And she sent me a... If I can turn it right... A Bouchard Belgian chocolate, and it's dark mint, and it's since 1931. And I think it's going to be upside down either way I turn it. Oh, there we go. This way I can do it. It won't be upside down. Just got to wait for that, too. Focus on my palm, damn it. There we go. So... That's a little gift that she sent me in this cute little thank you baggie. Which, that is adorable. I love that. Which, I like it when they do little personal things like that. When um, you do start something new that you buy from something someone you've never bought from. I think it's really cool. Um, she had these really cool, like, little sacks that was covering some stuff. I like paper sacks. Like, not paper, but it's um, wool sack, which is really cool. So, I can actually use this in a spell or something else. So, I love this. I um, actually have one like this. It's a sack. I'm not going to sit here. I it gets It makes me cringe every time I hear people calling them sachets when they're satchels. And I'm like, y'all, okay, I know y'all are trying to sell bougie as hell. Sashay, sashay. I'm like, y'all have any idea <laughs> how much y'all make my, my skin cringe. Just like, dude, satchel, satchel. <laughs> like these women, I swear. So this is what came in it. It is really cool necklace. Let me try to straighten it out. Like a bone tooth. Which I thought was really rad. I'm into stuff like this. So this is like up my alley. And then it has some other stuff. Which. Um, ah, I think. It has three shells. And this little spring. Which that's the only thing. I'm kind of like. Wondering. If I attach to the necklace. So I'm kind of like. I know you put stuff like that on these necklaces, 
So I'm trying to figure out where to attach it to the necklace. So I'm going to look at the necklace pieces like this some more and see how to attach it. Because this is the part of me where I'm a blonde. So, yeah. So it came with that. So I thought it was pretty cool. I do like it. I'm not going to say I don't. I love shells. And this piece here, it looks really cool. I don't know. It's like an altar piece or whatever. But I'm always obsessed with spirals and designs like this. Because uh, coming up as a witch, when I first started as my awakening, um, which I knew I was a witch anyway, starting off as a young child because I was drawn to it. Um, I was always drawing like the swirls. I was always obsessed with swirls. And my grandfather, he was very much a druid. And he's the one who kind of would giggle at me and he would draw swirls and um, little beetles would crawl out of the swirls. <laughs> so I was very much obsessed with drawing swirls. I was very obsessed with stars, the celestial, the astrology. Um, so that part of me was very much instilled in me at a very young age because you know, I was astraline at a very young age. That's one of my first gifts I had was astraline. I mean, I started astraline at the age of two and three. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous, but, you know, it's one of the first things I did. So, um, these are the cutest beeswax candles I had ever seen in my life. I've never seen beeswax candles this small. I love the little material she has wrapped around them. Um, this box is supposed to come out of Denmark, if I'm understanding right. So that is pretty cool, too. Um, but these are very small beeswax candles. And beeswax, what you can do is, I've told them on my channel before. I'm not sure if anybody understands, but you can get the lip of the beeswax candle and you can roll it back. And you can put herbs you can anoint them with oil and then you can roll them back up and then you could put your intention in your candle as you're burning it. Well, not as you're burning it, but before you burn it, you could put your intention with it with you anointing it and putting herbs. And, you know, you don't always have to draw your, you know, your intentions on it. You could do it with um, paint that um, is non-toxic as you're burning it. And with beeswax candles, these are the most perfect candles you can do it with. And these being so tiny, oh my God, I don't know if I want to burn these because I have no, I mean, because I get beeswax candles all the time because from the other um, boxes I get, I mean, I get pretty thick ones. So, I mean, these ones are actually, are amazing to me. I love beeswax candles. Do not get me wrong because they're very long lasting. They burn well. They smell amazing. Beeswax, there's just something from... It's all organic. It's natural. It doesn't hurt the bee. And it's just, and I, re, I, me, I resave it and I actually remake candles. So, um, I recycle my wax. So, and I love it. And especially beeswax. You can, it does, I mix it with like soy wax, beeswax regular wax and it just makes a more powerful candle because especially if you have herbs in there and other intentions and you go in there and you put more herbs to the candles as you're reburning them and remelting them and you put different intentions and you recite the candle again. <sighs> you got some serious mojo there, honey. <laughs> so these are cute. Um, I love these. I mean, when I first, like, I was like, Oh, I was geeking out on this. I mean, if you guys cannot believe me, beeswax, they are the most powerful candles you can get your hands on because anointing them, putting your intentions in them, blessing them, getting your herbs inside them. But I'm telling you, do not put big herbs. You want to crunch up your herbs, mill them as good as you can. Because you put bigger herbs in them, it's going to be a punk when you burn them. You want them at least finely milled as much as you can. 101. Okie dokie. Um, next thing I got is a Valhalla bath salt. Hearing Valhalla bath salt, that was awesome because um, I am watching Vikings. And being that I am a witch and I study everything. So I have a witch's group and I teach 
everything. I don't just teach witchcraft. I teach pagan. I teach Wicca. I teach anything and of and beyond. Anything that my students ask, um, I pretty much teach them anything they want to know. Because to me, nothing is taboo. Nothing is forbidden. Um, I want them not to be scared to ask questions. So if they want to know anything like Druid, mysticism, um, even religion, because I want them to understand everything before they come into understanding their own magic, because I need them to fully understand what they're stepping into and not to be scared of their magic, to fully embody who they are. Because if they come into this, you know, not fully understanding or being fully aware of what they're stepping into, then they're going to be like, you know, the magic is going to be stagnant because if you have fear coming into your magic, it's going to be like, eh. you know, it's going to be like, uh, you know, a sparkler. It's going to be like a firework. It's going to be, bleh. it's going to be a dud, you know, it's not going to be as potent as it's supposed to, as in if you are, 100% comfortable in who you are and you're, you know, not scared of it and you're fully aware of who you are and you're like, yes, yes, that's me. <laughs> so this, and it looks good. I mean, it looks amazing. And she, I love how she puts the wax seal. I love that. And you can smell it through the bag. It has, I do believe, flower petals. And a lot of people, they put like um, Muslim bags. I don't do it because I like getting the flowers on me because I feel like it's like an ancient bath that you're taking, like a milk bath. And you have like, you know, petals in there and salts and stuff. If I'm going to do it right, I'm going to do it right. And... I clean out my tub and I plunge it and I put the stuff in there to melt all the bad stuff in the bathtub anyway. So, <laughs> you know, if I, I want all the ingredients in the tub on me. You know, I want the flowers. I want the petals. And I'm, I'm not like, oh, my God, it's going to be such a hard time to clean. I'm worried about all that. You know, I want the full potency of what went into the oils, the mixtures, the flowers, the herbs. I want it all over me so I can get the full vibrancy. I know a lot of people say, well, you can still get that in a Muslim bag. I'm going to be like, yeah, you could. But I feel that to me, it's very enriching. I feel that it's like I can picture myself being in a certain scenery and like a certain time frame doing that. Like I'm in Paris or I'm in the Nile doing, you know, a bathing ritual in a certain time frame and a certain scenery. I can actually travel when I'm doing certain things like that. That's why I like it enriches me. It, it takes me to a certain place in my mind when I'm doing that. So that's why I like doing that. But if you guys are not like me and crazy like me, you can save. Like if you guys do get um, other kits, the little tea, those little white, um, what they call Muslim bags, they're little white bags. Or you can get them at store places, store goods. I do believe sell them. Um, and you could put your incense in them and uh, these, the bath salts. And you can put them in there and, you know, you don't have to worry about getting them all over the bathtub. <laughs> and then... Um, she sent me a beautiful, which I have a gazillion of these. You can never have enough. And I love it. A sage wand. Which smells absolutely amazing. I love getting sage wands. Do not get me wrong. And it is beautiful. Almost just like white sage almost. Um, Because how pure it looks. It doesn't look like regular sage. It almost looks like white sage. Because regular sage, it kind of looks dingy, but this one looks like white. I'm going to leave it wrapped because it is kind of loose, so I'm going to keep it condensed until I put it in my bag. Because if y'all seen how much sage I had, y'all would die. Next, I got another Albonian shell, which I have so many of these, but I love having a million of these. Because me being a water sign, I love shells. So... Once I get moved, I'm going to have all my Albonian shells out. 
and I love them. So this one's very different. So I have one, I have different, this is a cool thing. None of my shells in each box I've gotten, none of them are the same. So that's the irony. So that's why I love this. And this one is actually pretty because I love the color on it because it looks turquoise-ish. It has like turquoise colors on it. Um, it has like a greenish color on it. It has like almost like a purplish brownish hue on it. I mean, I love the colors on it and the size of it. It's like literally the size of my palm. So, I mean, this is actually called the Shield Maiden one she sent me. That's the one I ordered, of course. So, I love it. Um, one of the things that she sent me, which was wrapped around it. She had this wrapped around one of the pieces. So, I'm going to save it. Triquetta. So, of course, I'm going to save it. And you always save your ropes because you can always use your ropes in any spells. So any um, newbie witch, save your um, ropes from anything you get because you can use them in any spells. Also a handmade rune, which I love. It's supposed to be for protection. And I love this. I mean, because you can tell it's handmade. You can feel the power on it. I do love it. Um... It makes my palms like boom, boom, boom. I like that. I do like it. I really do like that. Because when I seen that, I was like, oh my gosh. I really do enjoy stuff like that a lot. And then um, we got the Shield Maiden Spell Oil. Let me see. I can get it to pop up better. Man. Focus. Come on, camera. Be good. We almost had it. Shining on me. I almost had it. Come on. And this camera is such a dill hole at times. I'm trying to see if it'll pick up. It, evidently, this camera loves my books. There we go. Okay, so y'all can pause it and see it. <laughs> This camera's like, I like your books. I don't I don't want to read nothing up. I want to know what's in your books. It's like, no, you don't want to know what's in my books. Some of my books are bad for you. <laughs> All right. So, overall, yes, I actually love this box. She actually has a whole bunch of stuff up on Etsy. Um, she has a lot of good stuff up on Etsy, actually. So, I do plan... To go hopefully um, later on grab some more stuff from her down the line um, eventually ah, there we go I paid about I'm trying to remember I think 20 or 30 something maybe for this one so it wasn't bad so, I mean, overall, it's actually a good one. And for everything you got in it, it wasn't bad, especially for our protection. And she has a starter kit one. She has mystery kits. Um, she has a bath one. She has oils. She has jewelry. Um, she has a whole bunch of different stuff on her, um, up on her Etsy. So, if anybody is curious about various different things, um, you can go check her out. You can type it in and I'm trying to straighten up my table. So I have to move various boxes around here and there while I'm doing unboxings. So I'm going to try to get some hammered out here as fast as possible. <laughs> so I can put some up. So yeah, 
I hope y'all guys enjoyed the video. And if y'all did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos from me, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I do upload or go live. So you can come in and join in on the fun, talk with me, um, get to know me or ask questions. And yeah, I should be uploading another video in about two, three minutes as soon as it takes me to type up a header and take a picture. And yeah. So that's the end of this video and I will see y'all shortly. Bye.